um, you go into sort of a different uh, different state of mind and you just you know you're racing against the track and you're racing against yourself it's not like circuit racing you know I do circuit racing I've done circuit racing for a long time and you know I've done one year of road racing and I've enjoyed that more than the past 10 years of circuit racing put together the TT is just completely different it's completely different to anything else you'll ever do in your life it's um, so physically demanding, it's so difficult, it's so mentally demanding and you know just to say you finished one TT is a massive achievement and you know it's quite selfish in what you do but you see you know the guys that don't come back and um, you can get the buzz that you get without knowing that that's part of it. It's difficult really to say what my family think because obviously my family um, want to support me in what I'm doing. Obviously with all the danger of racing the Isle of Man TT and all the, you know, the injuries and you know, people getting killed, it's, uh, it must be really hard for them and you know, um, it's not as if they can stop me from doing it because you know, it's what I want to do and, and it's something that I'd wanted to do for it you know, forever. I used to watch I used to watch that when I was nine years old with my dad and I just thought, wow, them boys are just, they're next level, they just look superhuman when you're watching them on TV doing, you know, 200 mile an hour between these walls, you think they're some kind of, you know, superhero. But um, I got the opportunity to go over there and have a look around and see what I thought of it, so as soon as I went over to the Isle of Man, something, you know, injected in me that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life and this is where we are.